Hello. Welcome to a quick introduction to using Gloucestershire Archives online catalogue. It will show you how to find out what we've got. This is a basic introduction to get you started straight away and will take about three minutes. This is Gloucestershire Archives online catalogue. It contains brief details of all archive collections held by Gloucestershire Archives and full details for all catalogued collections. It also holds details of the local studies material held in seven centres across the county. The catalogue doesn't include images of original items. You can find some of these on our partner sites like Ancestry for images from baptism, marriage and burial registers or Know Your Place for images of maps of Gloucestershire. The catalogue entry will tell you if there are digital images you can look at and where they are. You can access the online catalogue from the front page of our website at www.gloucestershire.gov.uk forward slash archives. To find a catalogue entry, enter a search term in the Quick Catalogue search box. It is quick because it doesn't search all the fields in the database, so it returns a result in less time. Today we're going fishing and we'll use the word fish. A successful search returns a hit list. Our quick search for fish has found 257 entries which match the search term. You can see the finding ref on the left hand side. This is the unique code for the item. In the middle is the title this gives you a little bit of information about the item. On the right is the date. This tells you the date of the item or the period which it relates to. We can change the number of entries shown on the screen and we can navigate through this list using next or previous or last or first. We can sort the hit list by clicking on the headings. This list is sorted by title, but you could sort by date or by finding ref. We can also click through to see more information about an entry by clicking anywhere on the entry that we're interested in. This view gives you more information about the item and explains why it appeared in your search results by highlighting the search term. We searched for fish. The more detailed entry gives a fuller description of the item, as well as important information about access and use, which we can't see from the hit list. Here we see that we can access digital images of this register on the Ancestry website. We've also got some general tips and tricks to help make the most of the catalogue. You can make the text bigger, or use the text-only version of the site. You can use an asterisk as a wildcard character. For example, biz, B-I-S, asterisk, will return entries that include the words bisley as well as bishop. The wildcard character is useful because we need to enter a search term that will match the words in the catalogue exactly. Many words are spelt as they are written on the document, which may not be the same as we spell it today. For example, dirham can be spelt D-I-R-H-A-M or D-U-R-H-A-M as well as D-Y-R-H-A-M. We can use the asterisk to search for D asterisk R-H-A-M. This will return entries that match any of those spellings. Remember, we can also use synonyms, different words with the same or similar meanings. For example, if a search for employees doesn't work, try searching for staff instead.
if you already know the unique number of the entry you're interested in, you can type it directly into the quick search box. Once you have a hit list of items, remember to click on it to get more information. This can be especially helpful when the title is not very informative. In this example, the title, number two, doesn't tell us anything about the entry, except it's the second of a sequence. By clicking through, you can see this example is number two of a sequence of Tewkesbury Borough Minute and Order books. It goes on to describe the kind of information you can see in the book. That gives you enough information to get started. If you're interested in searching smarter, watch video number two.